What's up guys, it's Matt Collins Jones here, also known as D365 Geek, and today we are looking at Power Automate and OneDrive for Business, and we're going to look at the action which is copy file using path. Now if you watch one of my previous videos on convert file using path, this allows you to pass in the path parameter from Power Automate or from OneDrive for Business, and allows you to export that and, and use that in your in your copying the file or converting the file as I previously covered. So this is slightly different from the copy file because then you need to specify a path and it kind of needs to be the friendly path. This can be the one that's coming from OneDrive for Business. So let's take a look at it. So I'm in my Power Automate flow here. Uh, I'm in my OneDrive for Business flow. I also have a trigger action, which is when a file is modified uh, in this folder in my OneDrive for Business. And when I say we're not going to include subfolders. This is so we don't get stuck in loops, although I do keep getting uh, a few looping things going on. So I'm going to click on New Step, and then we're going to choose OneDrive for Business. Uh, wait for it to catch up. Click on OneDrive for Business, and then we can choose Copy File Using Path. Now, Copy File Using Path means that in this path here, instead of actually choosing um, the actual path from the picker here, I can actually just use this file path that's down here. So what that'll do is that'll pass in the parameter. Now the file path is kind of like the long file path parameter, not the kind of more user-friendly file path parameter of sort of like, you know, forward slash this, forward slash power automate, forward slash this. Um, this is just the, the one that comes through from, um, from OneDrive Business. And we'll take a look at that when we trigger this as well. Next, we need to tell it where it's going to, the destination file path. So in this instance, I'm just going to go into my keyboard buffer and find my other path. So we're going to go into the Power Automate folder, then in the Stop Looping folder, and then we will create a file called uh, test copy uh, from path.docx. So we can specify that in and say, right, this is what it's going to be. And we do need to include the name of the file that we're going to be copying it and creating as well. We also have this option for overwrite. So we can choose to either overwrite the existing one if it's there or not overwrite the existing one if it's there as well. So that's what that option does. And let's test this out. So we click on test. Uh, we'll perform the trigger action ourselves. We'll hit save and test. And we will drop into OneDrive Business. We're going to find this file here and as soon as it opens, it's basically going to save. It's going to um, it's going to trigger this flow, so we can see it's already running. Uh, I don't know why OneDrive Business does that, but it does. Um, so I won't make any edits to it, and we can see that files are modified. Um, we can look at the file path. So here we go. Uh, this is the file path. So you can see it's not really usable uh, very very normal user to sort of specify the path of this forward slash this forward slash this. Um, this is the file path that's denoted via OneDrive for Business and in Power Automate, and that's what we uh, put in. So if we open this, we can see that it's actually gotten a little bit more information. It knows we're in the drives. It's given that path, and then it's figured out the rest of it as well, which is really cool. Uh, and then it's found the, the destination uh, path as well, and it's then created the file, and we got some data about that. If I drop back into OneDrive for Business, I'm going to the stop looping here. We can see the test copy from path, um, and that's that's opened up and that's copied that for us. So that's really, really cool that it's, it's given us the ability to do that. So we can pass in that, that parameter or that path. We don't need to hard code it. We don't need to make it user friendly. We can just use what OneDrive for Business has given us. There are other triggers and other things where we can get like metadata. So uh, the properties only ones for the triggers will give us like a more user friendly path, which we could use in the other one. But this is the, this is the one that's used for the other triggers and some of the other data. So if you do have problems with stuff like this, check to see whether you're using the right path, whether you're using the right triggers, whether you're using the right parameters, um, good things to check. So um, the use from path means the, the one that's kind of a bit nondescript, just a string of characters uh, and Power Automate and, and OneDrive Business will figure out the rest. If it's uh, if it's the, the, the folder path, like with the forward slashes, then you probably want to use the, the regular um, copy file parameter. Sorry, action.
So I hope this was useful. I hope this explained kind of the differences between the two and kind of helps you with your uh, with your Power Automate journey here and your OneDrive for Business journey. If you found this video useful or you liked it, if you could drop a like on the video or if you could share it with your friends, that would be really appreciated. Um, it does help me build this channel, channel and grow this channel even more so I can make more videos for you guys. Uh, if you did like this video uh, and you've not subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date with all the latest videos. Uh, and I'll see you next time.